Hello, hello, everyone. This is Man United inside again on it. Welcome back. Manchester United could replace Sofyan Amrabat already with club targeting four signings in January. Manchester United are keen to make four signings in the January window, with major concerns emerging over Sofyan Amrabat following his underwhelming start to life at Old Trafford. The Morocco international joined United on the final day of the summer transfer window on an initial loan deal from Fiorentina with the option to make the arrangement permanent next summer. The 27-year-old has struggled this season with The Guardian reporting doubts have been raised internally at the club over his performances. Amrabat has started just seven matches in all competitions, some of those coming in an emergency left-back role. The midfielder has remained on the bench in recent weeks, even in the absence of Casemiro, who is sidelined with injury, with 18-year-old Kabi Maynou selected ahead of him against Everton on Sunday. United are now considering bringing in another defensive midfielder in January, such as their concern over the player. The club are also looking to sign a right-sided centre-back, a N08, and a striker. Those plans will be complicated by financial fair play regulations United must contend with, with much depending on Sir Jim Ratcliffe completing his acquisition of 25% of the club. United have been considering a new option in defense since the summer, and interest in making a January addition will raise further doubts over Rafael Varane's future. Bayern Munich are considering a move for the World Cup winner who has started just one of United's last nine matches, with reports suggesting his relationship with Eric Ten Hag has broken down. United are also on the lookout for a NO8, a somewhat surprising development given the summer signing of Mason Mount. The former Chelsea star is another who has struggled since his arrival in Manchester, yet to score for his new side, with injuries also playing their part. Another option up front is also being sought. United want to ease the pressure on 72 million signing Rasmus Hoyland, who has scored five times in the Champions League, but is still to get off the mark in the Premier League. United have scored just 13 goals in 16 league matches this term with Marcus Rashford, who hit 30 last season struggling for form. Incoming business may hinge on players leaving Old Trafford. Both Casemiro and Varane have been linked with lucrative moves to Saudi Arabia with the former Real Madrid stars enduring disappointing seasons so far. Harry Maguire and Scott McTominay discussed moves to leave United in the summer, but both are now back in the manager's plans. Every word from Eric Ten Hag's Manchester United press conference versus Galatasaray, thank you very much for joining us for today's press conference coverage. Here's a roundup of the main talking points from Eric Ten Hag and Bruno Fernandes. Ten Hag hints at Kabi Menu role tomorrow. Eric Ten Hag insists he has no fear about starting teenager Kabi Menu in Manchester United's crucial Champions League clash against Galatasaray on Wednesday. United are at the bottom of Group A heading into their penultimate group stage match and no a win is needed if they are to have any realistic chance of reaching the knockout rounds of the competition. Galatasaray secured a famous 3-2 win when the sides met at Old Trafford last month and Ten Hag knows his team will need a huge improvement if they are to have any chance of winning in such a hostile environment this week. Manu shown in his first Premier League start against Everton at the weekend, though there have been some doubts about whether or not he can play again so quickly in such a big match. Bruno Fernandes responds to criticism about his captaincy. Bruno Fernandes has insisted everyone at Manchester United is happy with his leadership and captaincy at the club. Harry Maguire was expected to leave United in the summer and he was stripped of the armband by Eric Ten Hag, which led to Fernandes officially being named captain. Fernandes was the de facto captain last season in the absence of Maguire in matches, who made just eight league starts, but the conversation around his credentials to wear the armband has continued. The Portuguese midfielder insisted everyone at the club are happy with his leadership and said there would always be critics when representing United. Pick your United side to face Galatasaray, Rasmus Hodgland and Antony are both back in contention but Marcus Rashford is suspended. You can pick your side for tomorrow's match using the selector below. United received double injury boost. United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed Rasmus Hodgland and Antony are in contention to feature against Galatasaray in the Champions League.
Although Hodgelin was absent from the 3-0 win against Everton at Goodison Park, after failing a late fitness test, he trained on Tuesday morning and could return to the starting lineup in Turkey. Antony was another absentee at the weekend due to a knock, but he also trained with the main group and will travel with the squad. United's poor record in Turkey. Tomorrow it is about making it our game. It is on us. Ten Hag turning hell into heaven. We have to make it our game. Manchester United have a great history, but you can't take anything from it. We have to make your own future. Ten Hag. Garnacho can be even better. I don't know if he has been training that it won't be good for his back. He has that special talent, but I am more happy for his work off the ball against Everton. For me, it was his best game. He is going to be such a good player, for his age, for his talent. He can be much better. Fernandez. Fernandez on his captaincy. I have to deal with that. I understand that the tough part is always coming after the first games, when results and performances aren't always as they should be. I know my numbers when I came made me a target. My focus is on the team, on the staff, on those who work with me day by day. The way I am, it has not changed by being the captain. I am really open with everyone. I have to keep the same way. Fernandez. Pelestri has a chance. He has to make also a step from bench player, coming in and having a good impact, to a starting 11 player. We will see how quick that process will do. Ten Hag. Handling the Mainu hype. We are very pleased but it is one performance. You have to do it on a consistent base. We are confident he can do it, but you have to prove it. You are only as good as your last game. Enjoy it first, but keep the focus on the game. Don't get distracted. It is about the game. Focus on your game, your performance, and get the right levels in. Ten Hag. Fernandez on the penalty. We are never 100% sure. I could have taken the penalty and missed. We will never know. Fernandez. It is great leadership if you know your teammate needs that goal. Ten Hog. Ten Hog. Not looking beyond tomorrow. First, we have to do it. Then we see what it will do with the team. The same as we beat Everton. Difficult game in that environment. If you can beat them, it can give you confidence. Ten Hag.